Is building a garden bed from scratch worth it? You're about to find out. All 11 of these garden beds that you see around you, or don't see any behind me actually, uh, I built. I built them from scratch. I filled them. I had everything brought in. This is one of the garden beds that I didn't get totally done this time in time for this year. So we're just setting it up for next year. So this is one of the 11 that actually didn't get planted. If you guys watched our, is it worth it gardening video, you'll know, to know that I didn't plant all 11, but it was still totally worth it to have all of them. Oops, spoiler alert. So we built these garden beds from scratch. Uh, this used to be totally treed. There was nothing here. It's a little bit marshy here. We actually had the skid loader where we were trying to get all the stumps out and it sunk. That was a fun expedition. I didn't catch that on film, but I really wish I did now. Uh, so we built, I built 11 garden beds. We filled them and we added soil compost to them as well as a grate along the bottom to keep any animals out. And this is, like I mentioned, one of the ones that I did get to before the end of this year's growing season. But next year it will be full and we're just getting it ready for that. But how much did it actually cost to put all of these beds in is probably the question you're thinking. So yeah, it might be really cool to know how much value of produce you're able to get out of your garden, but when you're thinking about it and you have a bunch of garden beds, you don't really know how much cost you or you got them for free, which is even better, then it's really hard to add value or justify adding any additions to your garden when you really don't know what has gone into it for money wise versus what has come out of it and that's what we're going to break down in this video today so what we put into our garden beds to get them all set up was we have two separate types of garden beds so this one here is an eight foot by four foot box so it's got two sides so that there's two feet of space that we can reach out nicely here and two feet of space on the other side so that way we can have two nice rows set up for the larger plants in this bed i also have a 36 inch by um six foot bed so six feet by three feet that are all set up as well and those guys are much smaller so they tend to have the smaller plants in them or not as many plants uh, but they are a lot faster to fill which I really like about those ones so we are going to have probably more of the smaller ones in here for the wood boxes than the bigger boxes just for ease of use but they also don't cost as much. So it cost me roughly $100 for the eight foot by four foot boxes, and it costs about $75 for the six foot by three foot boxes. They produce, so actually my most expensive plant that I grew were my bell peppers, and they came out of one of my six foot boxes. So my six foot boxes were actually the most valuable to me this year because I had higher value products in them, and the amount, the volume that came from them was just incredible. So. You don't have to go bigger uh, if you want to have a great yield from your garden beds. You can go smaller and you'll still get a good amount of produce from them. So including the soil, the framing, the screws, the compost, everything that went in to building these beds, all in all, I spent $975 on these beds. You must be thinking right now, like, oh my gosh, you spent $1,000 on wooden soil this year? Yes, I did. It wasn't all at once, so it was spread out quite nicely, so it was a lot more financially manageable. And so we spent roughly that. And then I also had to add irrigation systems. So I didn't want to be spending my time out here watering the whole time, especially because we went through a drought this year. So it was almost impossible, even with uh, irrigation, to keep up with the demands for water for our gardens this year. Thank goodness we did have a timer though, so I was just able to adjust the settings to allow for more water to be coming out to our garden. So we did spend roughly about $100 for drip line irrigation going through the beds. Super cheap, we got them, they're 20 bucks for 50 feet. Just a really quick solution for this year to get everything up and running because I didn't want to lose the plants that I had already sprouted. So all in all, with including the irrigation, we're up to $1,075 spent on this garden this year. So not all your garden beds have to be expensive. These guys here, we basically got them out of the dumpster. There are a bunch of doors that were left over from old garage doors that people were taking out. And these guys were gonna go into the dumpster. They were gonna go off 
be recycled, be taken apart, and not be used anymore. These now have new life as our future garden beds, and they're insulated, they're metal, and they will probably last us decades to come. So when you think about the amount of produce that's gonna come out of these guys, they and they cost us nothing, it is an amazing victory to get something like this for a homestead that you can pull something valuable out of. So let's break it down a little bit further. We're going to have in total, when I think I'll be done my garden, 28 garden beds. 22 of them I will be building myself. The rest are gonna be coming from these panels. After filling them and all the equipment it's going to take to be able, or all the resources it's going to take to put them together, we'll be looking at roughly $2,400 in the garden. Ah, that's crazy. That is a ton of money to go in to a garden, right? That's filling these guys, getting them composted and all ready with seeds for next year. That is a crazy amount of money to be spending on a garden, right? Or is it? If you guys haven't seen it yet, we broke down the value of produce that's gonna be coming out of these beds for years to come. Check that video out right here so that you guys can go have a look at that because I think that when you have a look at what you can pull out of these garden beds, it really justifies what you're putting into them so that they will last you a long time. So in that video, we learned that each one of these beds will pull out roughly $65 worth of produce, depending on what's in it but over the general average, it's $65 per bed. So with 28 garden beds in operation in our future, that's gonna pull us out a whopping $1,800 in produce coming out of these beds. That's insane. Nobody's ever gonna go through $1,800 worth of produce in a year, right? Basically, this is gonna be more food than we are going to be able to consume as our current family stands right now. But if these beds are gonna produce us $1,800, $1,820 every year, that means in five years, it'll be over $9,000 worth of produce coming out of all of our beds in our garden combined. So let's break that down again. We've spent roughly $2,400 to finish up this project and, but assuming that these will last us five years, that's $9,000 in produce coming out of the garden. So when you look at it that way, when you have $9,000 coming out of the garden and you only spend around $2,400 to set it up, that's crazy. That difference really balances everything out. If you are a regular viewer of this channel, which if you're not, go ahead, click that subscribe button and that bell. Don't, worry, don't miss the bell. I'll wait. Go ahead. I'll wait. You'll know that I really appreciate doing things right the first time. If it costs a little bit more, I'm totally okay with it because if I'm spending a little bit more money on building my bed so that they'll last longer, that means that my investment is more worth it in the end. So when we're doing these beds, keeping track of how much you're spending on these beds and on the projects that you're taking on around a homestead is super important as well because then you guys can take it all together and say, okay, I've invested this much money I'm gonna get this much amount of value out of it. How much can I invest into it as time goes on? So let's say one of my beds falls apart. It's one of the big ones. So that's gonna cost me $100 to replace it. Well, I have a roughly a difference of a couple thousand dollars. So replacing a $100 bed in that five years isn't going to be a big scrap on it. See, if I only had, uh, let's say I only pulled $100 out, replacing it with a whole nother hundred dollars is a whole year's worth of value from that garden. So you have to be considerate about how you're putting your money. So you're not wasting as much of it and it works for you longer. So invest in those good products up front so you aren't reinvesting a small amount every year and it ends up costing you more over time. And I'll show you for an example, a personal example on how this comes into play. Next year, I want to invest $2,000, that's right, into a big irrigation system over our property. That again is a lot of money. With all the projects that we have going on, the majority of that water and that irrigation money is gonna be spent on the garden and on the orchard, on the berry patch, all these places that give us value. Knowing that in the next five years, I'll be able to pull $9,000 worth of produce out of my garden tells me that doing that $2,000 investment is worth it because it will potentially increase our yields, which means that there is more value coming out of the garden, as well 
as it's not going over the value that we're getting out of the project that we're putting together. So that out of that $9,000, we've now spent $2,400 on putting it together and another $2,000 setting up the irrigation. Because even though my total of investment, if I do that project as well, will be $4,450. I think I just made myself a little sick, to be honest with you. That's a lot of money. That's an insane amount of money. Like, I can't even imagine. If you told me, like, even two years ago that I would spend almost $5,000 setting up a garden, I would have been like, you're crazy. I'm never going to be able to afford to do that. But if you spread it out over time and it make, you make sure that it will last you those five years or more, it's worth it. So with that $4,400, it is a worth it investment. Even though that makes me nervous when I see it up front, I can look back at my numbers and say, okay, yes, it is worth it not only to set up this garden but to continue investing and improving it because the amount of value that we are going to get out of it is going to be way more than what I'm going to be putting into it. That is a worth it investment overall no matter what you're talking about and a garden that will feed you, your family and your friends is 100% worth it in my mind. My name is Jillian. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. It is starting to pour rain so I'm going to head inside for a little bit. But thank you so much for checking out this video. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe, that like, leave me a comment if you think that you're going to set up a garden yourself or if you have and you've done your own math on if it's worth it for you. I would love to see that as well. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.